So starting off with the deck profile here, we're going to start it off with triple of our Star Leech Safer. This card is just really, really nice. The amount of plays this guy gives you, basically, essentially just a rotor, but he's a rotor for whatever you need. If you need a level 8, you can pitch two level 4s. If you just need a level 4, you can pitch himself. Usually searches you the, the baby dragons, the chaos baby dragons, and then once he's in grave, you can get a level 8 from your graveyard back into your hand. For our rocket package, two tracer, one recharger, one Rocket Synchron and two Absarouts. I feel like this is, you know, the bog standard package that we do play. Tracer obviously gets you access to the Recharger, which gives you Synchro plays. The Synchron's the Reborn and the Absarouter is an extender. And it also gives you searches as well when it does go to the graveyard. So that is it for the level fours and Rocket package. We have the one Noctivision Dragon, just an extender basically. And he, he draws you cards. We have the two baby dragons, which is good because they search each other and off Chaos Space you can put one back and then get the additional search as well. You know, if you go black into the white, then you can put Chaos Space, put uh, white back into the deck and then you can search it again later. We have the one Chaos Dragon Levianir, really, really nice card. Just the ability to banish lights and darks and do basically three different effects depending on what you need. And we have the Chaos Emperor, a lot of text on this card, but again, you need to play him. He's really, really good in this deck. Just, you know, gives you a lot more versatility and just a very good card in general. For the Bestial package, we have Triple of the Lubelion. This card is really, really nice, especially in Dragon Link, because you can actually utilize the Sorinirs and get the send effects and all that stuff. But Lubelion is really, really good. We have Triple of the Magnemute, which is, of course, searches you for any dragon at the end phase. Doesn't have to be Bestial, which is really nice. The two Drisworm. Again, when he goes to the graveyard, he sends cards. And then the two Sorineers, which is actually really good in this deck. It's not, a, you know, the worst bestial like in other decks. He can send the Regained and the Beast and all that stuff to the graveyard. And he has good utility for that. So that is it for the monsters. Not much room to play hand traps in this deck because it's all pretty much gas. Loads of special summoning, loads of board breaking. We have triple of the Forbidden Droplet again to help us board break. We don't really mind cards in the graveyard because we can get them back later on as well. So really useful triple of the triple tactics talent again more board breaking and we have double of the cosmic cyclone hot take but we do need to deal with back row can struggle if you get floodgated out of the game so cosmic is a way to essentially answer that moving on to our album so pretty much the best spell i'd consider in the deck we have triple of the quick launch the not once per turn e telly gets you the rocket tracer, gets your engine started. If you have rocket tracer, activate quick launch, tracer target quick launch, you get special two guys out of the deck. We have our draw power, chaos space, adds in and draws you cards as well, really, really nice. Um, glad it got the reprint as well in Secret Rare, meaning, you know, the deck is overall a bit more affordable, so that's nice. We have the one, boot sector launch, searchable field spell, with our other searchable field spell, the dragon ravine. Just good to play them both at one. We have then the Branded Regained and the Branded Beast. You're going to be getting both of them onto the field off your Sauronir and your Bestial Lubelion. And this is a pop and this gets you draws and special summons back your Bestials. That's it for the main deck. We'll be now moving on to the extra deck. Moving on to the extra deck, we have our one Striker Dragon and our one Guard Dragon Pisty. This is for our Link 1. Striker Dragon gets you the field spell. Pisty can reborn anything from the graveyard or banish pile. Just, yeah, really, really good. And you can put them back as well off Chaos Space. We have our Heratic Seal, a really annoying card because it, you know, it tributes itself and then bounces and it attributes itself a cost as well. So it's kind of difficult to sort of deal with this card and then it can special summon a dragon out of the deck. We have the Dragoonity Knight. This is how you get your dragon ravine. We have the Quad Barrel and the Deling Delingerous Dragon. This is a nice combo. Basically you can like soul charge in a way. If you have a quad barrel, you can target a Delingerous, summon two rockets, and then Delingerous will come back as well. So you get a lot of material really, really quickly. We have our one dark to take any dark, especially if you take your opponent's bestial magnum moods, you can sort of get the search at the end phase, get your own bestials and all that stuff. We have our triple burst dragon, again, just good for the arrows. We have our nightmare unicorn into the access code, just helps us push for game. With our Borrowland Dragon, this card is really, really nice. Link 5, but you do get a lot of bodies on the board, so it is fairly easy to make as well. And he is a problem once you do make him. We have our Heratic Dragon, King of Atum. Make him with your Bestials, and you can just special summon a dragon out the deck, which sort of helps you if you sort of brick a little bit. 
we have our Borrowload Savage Dragon. We all know what he does. He's just a really good negate by equipping a link. Our Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend, a really good board breaker, not once per turn, burns. So in time, you can essentially just nuke your own board and then burn them and then win in time, which is kind of funny. And we have our Varon de Fleur, which of course, our Rocket Tracer is level four. All our Bestials are level six. That makes 10, which makes the best, you know, level 10 synchro in the game. So that is it for the extra day. It's time to... Let's go!